Hey YouTube, it's Dave here. It is Sunday, February 14th, 2010, and I will be testing my can crusher again today. The main difference now is that instead of using a work coil made up of three turns, I decide to uh, increase the gauge of the wire and also increase the number of turns. This will probably do two things. Um, the frequency the oscillating frequency of the can crusher will be reduced and also um, there will be much less uh, voltage reversal there probably won't even be voltage reversal because the inductance of the coil will probably be too high um, so here's the can and I just loosely wrapped it around the can. I won't be surprised if uh, the coil doesn't stay intact. Um, and also I will be using 1500 joules so um, it might rip apart but I seriously doubt it. So let's test it out. Three, two, one. Well, judging from the coil, the coil seems to be slightly deformed. Um, the wire is more textured. It's as though the individual strands of the wire were wire was rearranged. Um, if I take off the coil, you can see that uh, the crushing is more dispersed. It's um, not concentrated all in one area. And uh, yeah, so that's basically the crush camp. Firing, three, two, one. Firing, three, two, one. Firing, three, two, one. Rate, comment, subscribe.